Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ. Finally, we have a mod video. <laughs> Some mods are out now for Far Sim 22 in total. 23 mods were released today on the in-game mod up. All platforms got seven new and nine updates. A PC and Mac players got three new and four updates. We're going to look at each mod, including customization of features. That way, you can better decide which mods you want to download. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have the Anaburger HTS 3106. Now, this is the trailer that the back lifts up so you can dump into other trailers. Very, very cool, but HR Forest have made it even cooler. So we got 55,000 liter capacity. On wheels, we have Michelin. We also have Vredestein. We have Nakian tires, BKT, Trelleborg, and back in. Again, a lot of them look very similar. Uh, even the options look very similar. Attacher types, we have a ball or a pin hitch. Cover, yes or no. Love this style of cover, so I'm going yes on there. Chassis color, all of the above. They even have the Owl that hurts my eyes blue, which I love. Extension color, we've got that. We'll change that up to red. Cover color, we'll go with toothpaste green. It ain't green too. Come on, we know what color that is. Lastly, rim colors. Do we have a chrome? Well, not that I saw, but chrome green's good enough, right? We also have a license plate. So let's check this thing out. It is a really neat little setup, but it doesn't have as much as I was kind of hoping for. I think at this point, everybody wants unrealistic capacity options. Unfortunately, this doesn't have that. Still going to be 55,000 liters. However, it does have all of the liters. So you can put pretty much everything except for liquids in here. So we can open and close the cover if you want to. We can also raise the body up, which again raises the rear of the trailer up. Good. Super duper cool. Also, uh, don't unload at the top and then lower it and, and then expect things to work normal. Uh, from here, we can unload. Now it's only going to open a little bit. So heads up there. Now let's say, for example, this is a little bit tricky or maybe your tractor is a little bit unstable. Well, that is where, wait, it's one of these buttons. There we go. <laughs> I'm also using HR Forest modded Colossus for this. I thought it would be perfect. So we've got this. Now we can also raise and lower the tongue on this. So let's say like that, that's pretty darn stable right there, but maybe Maybe you want it to be a little bit more unstable. You can raise it up, lower it, whatever you want to do. You are good to go raise those back up and then bring this guy back down. So you can use it as a regular trailer. You can use it as a high tip trailer, whatever you want. You're good to go. Again, only 55,000 liters. Oh yeah, and at 20%, the uh, front axle lowers on its own. You don't have to do anything. Next is the Brussels and Laid Gripper Bucket SL50. This holds... 1900 liters, so I have no idea where the 50 came from. And then we can change it up to your four standard Brussel and Laid colors, but we also have all of the other colors. This works with front loaders and will hold bolt crop. Next is our Lizard Front Counter Weight Pack. These are also available as a branded version, the uh, Avers Agro Weight Pack. We're not going to be talking about that much when we get to the PC mod, so PC players, check this out. We have two weights in here, one that goes from 550 to 750 kg, and then one that goes from 750 kg all the way up to 1100. So couple different options through here. We're going to take a look at the larger one. Internal space to be filled. We have crush or crushed rock or concrete. Now that's where the weight comes in. If you go with the crushed rock, you get the uh, less amount of weight. Concrete gives you the more amount of weight. Reflective stickers on the front, yes or no. Flag stickers on here. We have Ukraine, United Kingdom, Deutschland, France, Italy, USA, or NADA. Brand stickers, we have Kloss, Doisfar, Case IH, Challenger, Finn, Valtra, JCB, or nothing. Attachment type, this is around towards the backside of it here. We have Design 1 and 2, which basically just moves that top pin. But we also have a mounting for rear hitch, which is interesting. I'm, I'm not quite sure the difference between Design 1 and that one, but hey, there it is. You've got it if you need it. Main colors, we've got all kinds of colors through here. We've got branded colors. Uh, even JCB's in there, which is nice. Uh, however, I think pretty much all of these are base game colors, so would have been nice just to have the base game uh, color palette there. And then we can also change up the top piece as well. And jumping into placeables, the first one is the Shed Cow Barn from 750 Ti Modding. Isn't that a graphics card? Uh, in here, we can hold up to 50 cows, which is a great setup here. For 50 cattle, very nice. Uh, we do have a few animations as well. We've got one here, one on the other side as well. This is where you're going to begin your slurry, throw your straw in there. Food goes around right towards the front. And right here, you've got your milk. Open this up. Done. Good. Moving on. 
Oh, can we turn that light on? Yes, we can. Sweet. Next up is the water pumping station. Uh, on the mod up, at least in English, this is all one word. I'm assuming that this has been translated from German because usually those words are just all bunched into one word. So I think that's where it comes from. Looks really good. It's kind of like a construction industrial kind of setup. I like this. Next is a big one. This is the Southern German Farm Buildings Pack. This is from Omatana and it's absolutely massive. Starting off with sheds, we have the large shed here, looking very good. And we do have color options as well in there. Look at that, hey, that's awesome. Uh, looks like all these are gonna have those. Uh, some more buildings here. Uh, she does have a couple other packs where some things look similar. They're not exact, uh, but they do look similar. Uh, I think she's been working on this for a while because there's so much in here. We have some uh, buildings here. We can actually kind of cheese it a little bit, take a look at the inside. Very cool, same thing through here as well. And color change changes the color of the doors. I would have never gotten that in a million years. That is so cool. And then we have uh, the same thing in a different setup. A little bit of a different color option there. Uh, same thing with these. More and more to be a little, little bit teeny tiny garages. Yeah. Can we cheese these? Ah, I can't cheese those. So I guess we'll have to place one of those down and jump in and take a look at it. Where's my player character? There he is. Found myself. Let's we'll open this up and uh, nothing inside, but hey, it works. Then we find ourselves with silo systems. We've got a couple through here again. Uh, I think we may be able to cheese this one a little bit. Yeah, we can cheese this one a little bit. So it looks like we're all good through there. And it looks like the silo portion is going to be on the outside, which is really different and very cool. Yeah, look at, look at that. That is very cool. So this one is the uh, pallet and bell storage large, 700 pieces. Then we have the pallet and bell storage, 500 pieces. And then barn silo. This is going to hold 10 million liters of your standard barn silo crops, as well as the silo wood. Now we have a couple different silos from her that look similar to this. Uh, I think we have the concrete silo as well, which is very cool. And then we've got same setup, but in a uh, kind of a red set. And then this little guy. Love that. Nothing in silo extensions, but when we head over to containers, we have a few things here. So we have a buying station for looks like seed and uh, another one. Yeah, I'm not sure which one of these is which. Oh, they're just different. They're just total buying stations. Cool. By the looks of it, we have 12 houses, tons of customization here. It does look like we have an interior as well. So we're going to have to check that out for sure. But taking a look at the outside real quick, looks like we have things that really match up with the other things. Uh, she says there's four two-story farmhouses, four single-story farmhouses, and four slot-saving farmhouses, which is very nice. I'm assuming the slot-saving is outside triggers? No, nope. still got the indoor triggers. Very cool, man, very cool. Let's poke our heads in here, shall we? So here is this, looks like we can change our clothes outside, open this up, really nice interior. Dude, check this out, this is sweet. Coming around in here, nice uh, indoor uh, plumbing set up there. Come up here, we can actually walk outside. I'm having no problems whatsoever walking around. Can I have this basketball? <laughs> you guys know I like to do this in yeet. <laughs> Go find it. And then in here, I uh, have a little bit of trouble running into stuff. Maybe that's just me super early in the morning right now when I'm recording this. Awesome setup there. Doesn't look like we could jump out the front, so we'll have to walk downstairs. Can we go out the back door? Oh, wow, that was nifty. Both doors open at the same time. Cool. Now let's check out the second house. Oh, doesn't look like there's a collision on that. Uh-oh. <laughs> we may have to jump up and... Oh, no. No, just... Let us walk right up. Cool. All right, we've got our uh, bedroom there. We've got a second bedroom in there, although it's unused. And then in here, bathroom. Same bathroom setup, uh, but that's okay. And then little kitchen and stuff. Nice. It's kind of like something I'd build in The Sims or something like that. Now, we are not even close to being done yet. Next is going to be our productions and factories. We have the uh, fermenting silo, which is very similar to one of the other mods she did with the concrete uh, fermenting silo. As a matter of fact, I think I still have that yeah right there so i still have that as a matter of fact eh, they're slightly different but that nonetheless there you go we've got that we also have the farm bakery so it looks like this is actually going to be a 
Real bakery? This works as a bakery. Very cool. Another fermenting silo, another little farm bakery, and uh, looks like that's it for factories. Nothing in selling points, greenhouses, or orchards. However, in generators, we have a couple sheds here that will make $21,600 per month. They cost 50 grand each, making these one of the best ways to make money in farm sim after two and a half months they'll pay for themselves lastly in the decorations and others we have a small garden hut now i do want to check one of these out so let's place one down and then we also have a second one as well and here open it up just something small maybe park your lawnmower or something like that in super cool and lastly we have shed with garage this is made by the same person who made the cow pasture uh 750 ti modding it's very similar to the cow pasture as well uh, which means it should work perfectly in combination with one another we do have doors where you need them a little squirrely get through those doors Maybe one day we'll have larger doors of farm sim we can walk through. Jumping over to updates for all platforms, we have the Lizard L1620. This is going to be version 1001. Fix the problem with the truck not leaving first gear in automatic mode. Next is the Elmer's Hallmaster version 1001. Fixed a bug in the work camera camera system. Don't know how to say this mod name, but it's got FSG at the back. So that'll work. Uh, version 1001 fixed attacher joint position. Romaco U4363 Impact version 2.0. They've added two new models, the semi-suspended and premium version they've renamed the modification and improvements to the standard version including normal textures disc effects animations ground reference weight and more excavator arm extension version 1001 fixed bug in the work camera system heisemant hm8400 klc also version 1001 and also fixed the bug in the work camera what do you think if i told you that's the same thing again kessler forestry cranes version 1001 fixed a bug in the work camera camera system all these are from hr4 so there must been something and hey they fixed it fortunately the wired fence and railgate version 1.1 did not have a camera system it uh, renamed the screen textures visual errors have been fixed and they fixed the fence scales and your last update today for all platforms buckland farm version 1003 down at the very very bottom they say no new save game is required and they fixed the cow nav mesh jumping over to new ones for pc and mac players first was the kamaz 53605 this comes with a truck and a magic trailer which is very cool let's take a look at the truck first 280 horsepower manual transmission 350 liters of fuel 62 miles an hour and it weighs nine uh, or no holds nine tons and it weighs nine seven tons we could also increase up to 14,000 after adding a tarp on the top if you want to 17,000 22,000 and then finally 26,000 absolutely massive on there we'll set up so we have a standard we have a wide tire which is just going to be the front and that's it just between those two facings we've got a couple different designs at the front these should look very very similar to what we already have main colors obviously we're going blue on there we go blue for the back as well if you want but we do have a nice dark black we'll go with that and then rim colors chrome so that is the answer then if we check out the trailer we've also got the same 9014 17 22 and 26 liter capacities doesn't look like we have a trailer hitch on the back which is very disappointing i'd love to make a little road train out of these and then we could do a uh, single or dual tires plus we have all of the same colors next up is the pzk 765 pack these are wind rowers or tedders they could do either one uh, with the three setups so a four meter three and a half and three meters reflections we've got a dummy plug or regular reflector uh frame height we've got a couple different setups there though it doesn't really matter at the end of the day uh tablets okay so it's changing up a little sticker on the end frame color we've got all sorts of colors from the 50s 60s and 70s color of the star and change that and color the plastic chin guides yeah, you can change that even though i have no idea where they are and then wheels now one of the interesting things about this is to use them you need the attachment bar so you can either do for the five and six or the seven and then you could change up your color to match so when you load in go ahead and pick your bar up and kind of place that about where you would need to uh we're going to be using the rigitrack electric just because it's easier <laughs> back it up slowly to the bar double connect and now it's all set uh, you cannot use this mod without using that bar or can you uh i don't know i just dropped it it's just got a regular hitch right yeah, it's not gonna work. And your last new one for PC and Mac players is going to be the Evers Agro Weight 
pack. This is exactly like the weight pack we showed off for all platforms, although it is branded. You know what's funny though? It doesn't actually have the brand name on the mod anywhere. It's exactly the same. Come on, man. And lastly, today, let's talk about updates for PC and Mac players. First one is Expandable Pastures version 1011. Bug fix. The increase of the feed capacity has been removed in as it caused problems. Automatic Milk Cell version 1001. Fixed a Lua error with Animal Husbandry is in a spectator farm. Uh. Headland Management version 233. Contour Guidance. Distance to the edge of the field can now also be freely selected as an option. Track guidance further has been optimized. Support for the SDF pack for the farm dudes added. Duds? I don't know. And incompatibility with the FS22 Realism add-on RPM NM Speed Modelitia fixed. Yeah. And lastly, Maze Plus Animal Food Editions version 1.3. Description version has been increased. Again, nobody needs to put that in the change log. We know, of course it has been. Also unique field types for uh, Duca and some smaller issues resolved in the update of Maze Plus. And that is it. Great to see mods back on Farm Sam. It would be really nice if we had these every day like we used to. But hey, I'll take what I can get at this point. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, and join the Go Ahead fam. Make sure notification bells hold as well. That way, if I release a video, you know about it. No farm some news today. That should be back tomorrow. Uh, otherwise, I just hope you have an awesome day. Happy Tuesday. We'll see you later.